Hey, welcome back to Let's Eat. Time to check out a classic American pastime. That's right, the drive-in. Remember the drive-in? Yeah, they might be a dying breed these days, but there are a few sticking around the area. We're gonna check out one of the most popular chains in the entire Midwest, at least it used to be. It's called Dog and Suds. Do you remember Dog and Suds? Well, there's a few of them. They're just hanging on by a thread. We checked out one in Gray's Lake that's been doing its thing for 40 years now. It's just, it's fun. Chris Beckort purchased the Gray's Lake Dog and Suds in 1997, but the location has been going strong and family owned since 1964. This is exactly the way it was in 1964 when it opened. And many businesses, their job is to, you know, update and, and change and, and do things differently. Our job is to stay the same. There was a time when Dog and Suds was one of the most popular food chains in the Midwest. They had over 70 locations in the Chicago area alone. A huge draw for 50s and 60s teens to come and enjoy a piping hot burger and an icy mug of their classic root beer. Makes me think of happy days. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Except Harrison Ford's not pulling up next to you in the American Graffiti car, right? Today, the few remaining Dog and Suds owners like Chris are keeping the drive-in dream alive, mostly through preserving the straight-to-your-car service, but more importantly, by offering a quality product at an affordable price. So you're going to take us inside and show us some of that food? Come on. All right, let's go. For a tiny drive-in, Dog and Suds has a very expansive menu with dozens of appetizers, snacks, wraps, and dogs. But there are a few signature items, starting with this bad boy. We're going to make a traditional Texas burger. Okay, this, with, is, this is a good burger. It's a great yeah, burger. It's real good. Which uh, is a third of a pound burger, two patties. He's put uh, Dog and Suds special sauce, okay. which is a proprietary sauce that we make up, and lettuce on it. Now he's going to put the coney sauce on it. There you have it. I ordered a, a burger. I think I might have eaten your burger in there. Oh dear. And no Dog and Suds would be complete without the staple Coney Dog. Yeah. Dog and Suds Coney sauce with a nice helping of onions. It's kind of a tradi tradition every summer. It brings me back to my childhood. And the kids like to stay. Yeah. When I want to go home, they're like, no, let's eat there. Now, can you drive yet? I have my permit. Oh, you do? Yeah. So once you get your driver's license, will you be coming to the Dog and Suds to cause trouble and eat hamburgers? For sure. Do I, I see on the sign here, New York Strip. Is, is that right? So you can come to the Dog and Suds and get a steak? You can get a New York Strip steak, yes. It's, uh, I think it's a six ounce steak and uh, they're actually selling very well. Really? Yeah, we added them this year. Do, do people get like a little white linen napkin or anything like that? Or? No. no. No? No fine china in the car or candelabra or anything? We put it in a plastic basket. <laughs> <laughs> While the traditional drive-in restaurant might be disappearing from the American landscape, the Gray's Lake Dog and Suds has the pedal to the floor with no end in sight. We hope as long as we keep um, providing what the customers want, they'll keep coming back. 